Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're doing the ninth video in my Python programming series, and today we're going to be talking more uh, more about for loops, so a more advanced type of for loop in terms of iterating through a list. So you may remember a few videos ago we talked about for loops, and I mentioned that there are two main type of for loops that we can use, um, and the one that we talked about there was looked like this. So we had for x in range, and then we had a range like this, and we simply printed out the numbers like this. So we see we got 1 to 10 just like that. Okay. Uh, so that was the for loop we talked about there, um, but the one we're going to be doing today is a little bit different. So I'll leave this here for an example. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a list because we're actually going to be iterating through every item or every element in the list. So again, I'm just going to use the same example I used in the other video, fruits, and I'm going to make it equal to, we're going to have apples, pears, and strawberries, strawberries, just like that. Okay, so we have our fruits here, and now um, we're going to get right into the syntax for this new for loop. So we're going to do for, and then any variable name we'd like. So in this case, I'm going to use fruit, and then we're going to use the keyword in once again. And then instead of typing range this time, we're going to type the name of the list we want to iterate through. So in this case, it's going to be called fruits, just like that. And now um, we can print out the fruit, sorry, the fruit, just like that. So pretty much what is going to happen is we have a list with three items in it. We have apples, pears, and strawberries. Now we want to print every fruit in that list. So we do that by saying for fruit, in fruits, meaning for every item in fruits, so one, two, and three items, we simply want to print out that fruit. So this loop is going to run three times, and we're just going to print out every fruit inside of the list, just like this. And there you go. We have apples, pears, and strawberries, just like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you can iterate through a list. And same thing if I want to add more elements to the list, so at 8, um, 90, just like that. Again, it'll just simply print out all of the items in the list. Now, uh, why might we do this, you say? Well, there's a few reasons we may want to iterate by item rather than by indice. So the other one, uh, the in range, is known as iterating by indice or by index. Well, this one is known as iterating by item. So there's a few reasons we might want to do this, but the first one is if we only want to print something out uh, if it's a certain value. So we just want to check through all of the items in the list and see if they're a certain value, and if they are, then we're going to print it out or we're going to do something specific to that item. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to say if fruit is equal to, for example, pears, then I want to print out pears. So we'll just print out the fruit. But if it's not equal to pairs, so anything else, then I will print out not pairs, like that. So this is an example of how we can look through every item in the list um, and simply check if it is a certain value. And then if it is, we're going to print it to the screen. So we'll tr try this, and we see we have not pairs, pairs, and then followed by a few more not pairs. Um, so that's a good way to do it by item. Um, otherwise, we can still do this using indice. Uh, it's just a little more complicated or not as efficient. So we could do for x in range, and then in this case we'll do 0 and 6 because we have to do it 6 times because there's 6 items in the list. And then we'll put a colon, and then we'll say the same thing. So except this time we're going to say if fruits followed by the square brackets, and then x, because this is going to be our indice, equals equals pairs, then we want to print fruit or fruit x. Oops. Otherwise, we'll print not a pair, just like we did in the other loop, not a pair. OK, so we'll run that. And we see we get it twice just because I had two for loops there. So it does work uh, the exact same way, except you can see that 
This one takes longer to write because we actually have to put the list name followed by the square brackets, whereas in this loop, all we have to do is simply type in fruit um, because it's automatically going through the list. Um, another reason too we may want to do that is because in this case we had to actually see how many items were in the list by counting um, and then we had to put that number in whereas here it'll just stop at the end of the list automatically. Um, now we could do this so len this is a new word so I'm just showing this now uh, this means length and then inside we can put something like a string or a list so in this case I'm going to put the length of fruits and that would give us a value of six and you'll see if I just get rid of this that it'll work the same way again um, by using the length of fruits okay so that is how to iterate through a list by item uh, I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in this series